From her absence on WWE television and a few cryptic tweets, without a doubt over the past few months, Liv Morgan has become the talk of the WWE women's division. And it's incredible to me that a performer doesn't have to be on television every single week or in this instance for months. And yet we still talk about her. We are still checking her social media daily. We are still looking for every update and every little ounce of credible evidence that Liv Morgan could be doing something in her big return. It's incredible. And I hope WWE learn a lesson from that. But over the past week, you guys have spammed the hell out of me over on Twitter telling me I need to make this video. So of course... I'm going to do it. It's a new Liv Morgan Theory video. But before we get round to it, I need to ask you guys, if you'd be so kind, hit that subscribe button. We've just hit 13,000 subscribers, which is surreal. I really do appreciate it. You have no idea how incredible it really is. So thank you for that. Like this video if you do enjoy it. And of course, share it on social media so your friends can find it. But more importantly, let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comments section below. Now, it's very easy for someone to start this video by saying, hey, Liv Morgan's joining the Funhouse. She's going to join Bray Wyatt. But that's all theory. Yes, on the Funhouse, the laugh that we hear from Abby the Witch sounds very similar to Liv Morgan's laugh. We have covered that in the past, but it doesn't mean she's going to be joining. For all we know, WWE asked her to record that, and she has nothing to do with the Funhouse. It was just a job. However, we know Liv was drafted to Raw, and we know that Sarah Logan and Ruby Riot are both on Raw. We know Ruby was out with an injury. Sarah Logan hasn't really been used much. On a dark segment on Raw a couple of weeks ago, or months ago now, she actually did come out with a whole new Viking gimmick. She has used it a few times, I believe, on main event. I kind of feel like she'd be better placed with the Viking Raiders, and I kind of do hope this Riot Squad reunion doesn't happen. Liv is a star. Sarah could be a star if developed right. Ruby is definitely a superstar. It makes no sense to put these three back together now after splitting them up and then doing nothing with them individually and then just reforming them together and probably doing nothing with the faction again. I get that the women's division do need tag teams and I agree with that. But I don't feel like this is the right trio for the squad. I really, really don't. And it's unfortunate but I, that's, that's just my opinion. However, we got to talk about this tweet from Liv Morgan a few days ago. She tweeted out, I've learned to love the pain. It makes me feel alive. Now, of course, alive does have Liv in capital letters. It's something Liv does do quite commonly on Twitter. Obviously, her name is Liv. It makes sense for her to do so. So, you know, it's not silly at all. <laughs> but... I really like this sentence, and a few of you have jumped on this and told me, and I do completely appreciate it because it does make a lot of sense. We have heard something similar before from Bray Wyatt in the Funhouse. He built the Funhouse to keep people safe. And he spoke many times about he and all the Fireflies and how much they've hurt for so long. And I wonder if Liv's learnt to embrace her pain, to make it all go away by feeling alive. Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? I, I do like that theory. I really do. But there's a bigger news story to do with Liv Morgan. It is, of course, WWE 2K20, the glitch game of the year. But there is something really cool on this game. If you play a game as Liv Morgan, the entrance theme is something brand new. Now, it is something we've never heard before, but it does resemble a theme music that could be used by like a female fiend character. And I like that a lot because I've listened to it many times. And you know what? It's true. I can't play it on the channel because I'd get a copyright strike. And I don't want that. But I do urge you to go and load up 2K20. Play a game as Liv Morgan and find out for yourself because it is really cool. But I got to be devil's advocate here. The game isn't updated. If you look at the Bray Wyatt character on the game today... That's Bray Wyatt over a year ago. This game hasn't been updated for October 2019. I kind of feel like for some reason, 2K just didn't use Liv Morgan's music. Whether there was a problem with it or a copyright issue or something to do with the whole CFOS thing, I've got no idea. But it is interesting why she has this theme music. And you know what? 
I really do wish that she did return with this music because it would make so much sense. Um, if she is going to portray Sister Abigail slash Abby the Witch, it would be perfect. And I, I like the music, to be fair, whether she plays that character or not. But guys, as I mentioned, this is all theory. And I tried to play devil's advocate. I tried to tell you both sides of it because I want to see what you guys think. I don't want my opinion to influence you. And that's kind of, I think, important when you're watching one of these, that you give me your honest thoughts down in the comment section below. I do love reading your theories. And as much as some of you might not believe it, I do read every single one, even if I don't reply. Make sure, of course, you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.